We're gonna figure that out, young Jude. Welcome back, YouTube. The most neglected thing in every vehicle owner's car, right? Yes. The operator's manual, the function manual, how things work, how they're supposed to go. Everyone should read this at their favorite spot, either going to the bathroom, laying in bed, and educate themselves on everything about their car. So this is the second time that we've had a question about the VTM, right? And we're working on a Honda Pilot. Um, and I was misinformed myself, and I think it came from YouTube. So we're gonna see what VTM says here. Comes on for a few seconds when you turn your ignition on, and then goes off. Comes on if there's a problem with the VTM4. Blinks when the VTM4 system is overheated, and the system isn't active. Stays on constantly, have the vehicle checked by the dealer. Blinks while driving, uh, the VTM fluid temperature is too high, stop and safe, blah, 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 blah. So VTM light is on, indicates that there's something wrong. Another one is the DRL. Uh, I don't think I've ever um, got into this, but if your daytime running light uh, indicator on, comes on for a few seconds when you turn your ignition to on, then goes off, comes on if there's a problem with the DRL system. So I hope that that answers people's questions and I would advise everyone read their operator's manual because now you become an expert in your vehicle operations, correct? And maintenance. Maintenance as well. Let's, let's just, just say, let's dig a little deeper, right? Let's see what this says about maintenance. I'm just so curious myself. Here, you're, you're a college kid. Find maintenance. I wanna see what it says about oil changes, transmission fluid, and spark plugs. There was so much good information in this. Actually, with today's cars, it should make you go through a video, right? Yeah. Because they, they all have monitors today. And they should have a video that says, this is your operator's manual before operating this vehicle. Join us, right? So they know how to operate the vehicle before they, they pull off the lot. All right, so go to spark plugs, and then oil change, and then transmission fluid and differential. Maybe we'll have enough time for all that. They really have nothing to do today so far. Nope. When should oil changes be done on this Honda? And then how about spark plugs? Because there is no technically industry st standard because everyone's... Conditions of use is different. Speaking of uh, service intervals, my dad uh, set up an appointment at Toyota to get his oil changed on his new Tacoma. He has 2,900 miles on it right now. How much did it cost him? I, I'm not sure how much it costed him, but they were like, oh, you're not due here until 10,000 miles. <laughs> did he say, are you out of your mind? He said, yeah, I'm not doing any more than five. <laughs> yeah, so, so the, there's a dealer, right? The, the death dealer, right? Mm -hmm. The death of your engine. He's a brand new 2022 Toyota Tacoma four-door. Just lifted it, bigger tires. Right. And they're saying, well, don't great. return until 10,000 miles. Yes, don't return until 10,000 miles. And he said he's not doing anything more than five. No justice at your dealership. Even your dealership guys are educating you wrongly. Yep. Doing your wrong right from the gate at $800 a month? Well, that was, yeah. <laughs> well, that was a service writer. Yeah, he, he's that. so he's so in your corner, right? Mm -hmm. He wants your car to last forever without oil consumption and blow by and burning oil. No, he doesn't. He's uneducated. Go ahead, Jude. Um, it doesn't actually tell you when you should change it. It just goes through the process of how to change your oil. Really? It doesn't say when to maintenance your vehicle? No, it says you must change the engine oil and oil filter regula regularly in order to maintain the engine's lubrication. The engine may be damaged if they are not changed regularly. So what defines regularly? They don't say. Change the oil and filter in accordance with the maintenance message on the information. Display. Oh! So you have to trust that this thing's programmed right. Mm -hmm. Don't 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 ever do that. What about uh, transmission fluid and spark plugs? Any 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 luck there? Um, I got trans transmission fluid, and then I don't see anything about spark plugs. Um, go to the very back. Go to the very back of this, because usually there's a log. 
Well, I'm going to transmission first, so hold on. 10,000 um, mile oil change on your brand new Toyota. There's master technicians who have left Toyota and have their own businesses and are giving you the dirty secrets about Toyota that park on they are second. advising you to destroy your engine by their maintenance wow. intervals. This is useless. They don't tell you when, if you should change it. They only show you how to check it. Hmm. Go all the way to the back. Maybe we should check the table of contents before we even start flipping. Nothing special? I mean, tires, spark, S, S would be spark plugs, correct? All right. Um, safe driving, safety check, safety label, safety messages. It might be in tune up. Possibly. Tachometer, tailgate, temperature, temperature gauge, temperature, temperature sensor, time, tire pressure, TPMS, tires. All right, so anyway, I got off subject. So if your VTM light is on in your Honda, you have a problem. If your DRL light's on, there's a problem. Now we need to figure that out. No, they don't. Don't trust your dealerships. They're all liars and they're uneducated. Top level pros out there like myself will advise you better than any new car dealership. Just like Caleb just said, his dad bought a brand new Toyota, to, brand new Toyota Tacoma with under 3,000 miles. He's, he brought it in for service and they're like, dude, you're not supposed to be here for 10,000 miles. Why would you try to gut my brand new vehicle? Shame on you, Toyota. Thanks for watching.